Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 5 of Rustic Waters 2. And um, I'm recording this pretty much straight after the last episode. I've done a little bit of um, of sieving. So we've got some stuff that I've, um, you know, I've gotten some different ores and so on, which is fine. But um, I was sorting out my inventory, just putting stuff away, and I realised I've got three hub keys, so I can expand. And of course, I didn't bring it up with me, did I? <laughs> There's me thinking, yeah, you know, I'm gonna be all, um, I'm gonna be all efficient and go up, and I didn't, didn't actually bring the hub key with me. Actually, we need to go here. All right, let's have a look. There it is. But I have a little bit of time on my hands and I thought I might as well record the next episode. There you go. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, it's not as it's not as big as I thought it would be, but it's um it's wider, and I wonder how close to the surface we are here. Let me see. Island is this way. Oh, we're definitely a lot closer. I can't tell what the island's made out of, though. Is that sand? Hmm. And we can't expand up any more. And that's a long way to go down. Okay. I don't know whether we want to do create stuff up here because I don't know if there's enough room, but uh, that. Okay. Okay, okay, right. All right, let's get some more done. I've got to put stuff to smelt. Oh, did I put it all away? I did. All right, let's at least, uh, this is, no, that's aluminium. I need iron. How much iron do we have? We have a stack at least which is good. But yeah, I just, I thought might as well, you know, do some more recording because I'm not sure how much time I'll have this week to um, at least Thursday and Friday because, you know, real life getting in the way. I don't know why real life likes to get in the way of gaming. You know, it should be gaming comes first and then everything else comes after. But there you go. Such is life. So. I don't know why I'm taking the apples either because I don't actually do anything with them. I need to, we need to see if we can get some more. Um, and I don't think you can make the apple sprouts either. I think in some mod, mod packs you can, but this might have been disabled. Uh, this is just a straight up jungle tree. Okay. Right. Um, let's do some more create stuff. And also while I was, while I was spawning, spawning, while I was sluicing, there was a pink centipede thing that attacked a squid out here for no reason. It was rather bizarre. If I thought about it, I would have taken a picture, but it was just like, what on earth is that? And then, oh, it really is big. Look. Yeah. But it was just really bizarre. It was a weird looking thing. Right. Um, sail frames. Aluminium. All right. So how many sail frames do we need? 24. So we need six sets. So that gives you four. 
So for we need 26 aluminium nails. And we need that. That could be any stick. Okay. Now, right, we should have some iron. Do we have any aluminium? We do. I'll put those into smelt next as well. Uh, aluminium. Okay. Right, we need to make engineer's cutters. And then I should have, I should have made it thing. I should have waypointed it, bookmarked it. That's the word I wanted. All right, so aluminium rod is two of those. And how many rods do we need? One gives us three fasteners. Okay, I don't know how many we need. My brain just kind of like looked at it and went, uh. All right, so that's go, that's iron. And how many, how much aluminium do we have right now? None. Really? I put down the trapdoors because it was just kind of like, yeah, we don't want. We don't want stuff killing us. Oh, where'd that come from? Okay, so it's waiting. I'm waiting for this to finish. I used a bit of time in the bottle. You just shift and click the time time in a bottle on the appliance and you'll see numbers on the side and you see that's how much faster it's going so that um that helps it's it's only a temporary thing it doesn't you know it doesn't go for very long but you know it's helpful all right uh, aluminum nail That's four. No. Right. That should give us eight. How many did I say we needed? Twenty six. That's fifteen. Twenty four. Right, we needed treated sticks. What did I do at my treated wood? I didn't use up all of it, so where is it? Oh no. I put all of um all of the crate stuff that we've been making over here. I almost had a heart attack. I thought I'd lost it all. I was about to start crying. Oh dear. Alright, so we want to make... I should have shift clicked it in. Alright, we need... I need to... Oh no, that's... We need four more sets after this. Right, let's make some more treated wood planks then. That's three, that's four. That's it. Yeah, maths gives me anxiety. I will, I will say it. 
It really does give me anxiety. Right, we've got that done. So the more sails you have attached to your windmill bearing, the more water they currently catch and the more rotational power you can generate. You can add more than the 24 you're making to this quest. Water? Oh, the more water current they catch. So how are we putting these things together? I guess it's going to show us. Let me get the hub expansion key. Oh, silk touch. Nice. But, um, okay. White sail. Once you have assembled your windmill, click on its backside to start it up. Place shafts from the back extending into your hub. These shafts will be what turns the gears to power your operations. You can make more windmills if needed. But, do you put it inside or outside? I, I don't understand. Okay, the windmill generates a great amount of kinetic stress. Thankfully, you can rig the windmill to generate force underwater using the flow of water currents instead of using wind currents. Now that you've opened up a hub expansion, you should have plenty of room to place the windmills on the outer wall with the shaft extending inwards. Okay. Oh, okay. So where... I guess, should we put the windmills up here? Or should we put them down here? I don't know. I mean, this room seems to be a better fit for doing create stuff. Rather than upstairs, because upstairs is quite, um, not as tall. And also if I want, but the windmills create power and you'd want the power close to where you are. So I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. I keep forgetting to lean forward into my mic. So I apologize if my, if my voice keeps getting louder and softer. Uh, I don't know. Because the thing is, if we put the windmill up there, then you've got to get the power all the way from up there to down here. If we put the windmill out here, it's easier. I'm going to have to move everything around again and put the trees up there. And, okay. Alright, well then let me... We're going to have to put, should we put sandstone? I think sandstone would be a nice column because this is sandstone tile. So I think sandstone would be a nice cob, a nice thing to put there. This is where we look, right? That's about right. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Should we go out on the bottom? Let's go out again. Let's risk life and limb. Uh, let me see if we get some juices. All right, we have apple. Uh, melon, sweet berry. We don't have any sweet berries. Raspberry? Let's see, let's see how many we can make. I need an empty hand for that. Okay, apple juice. Um, elderberry? Juniper berry, 
We're getting all the juices. And what else? We've done that, we've done that. Can we get Algarve? No. I'm still looking for my tequila. Cabbage? Can you get cabbage juice? <laughs> you can get cabbage juice. <laughs> oh, it's P8 juice. That's um, that's that juice vegetable thing that is like totally disgusting. Uh, did I do raspberry? No, we didn't get that far. Okay. That's plenty of juice. Can you have sweet potato juice? I think that's P8 again. Yes. So any vegetables will give you P8 juice, which is quite funny. I forget the name of it in the real world, but it's not P8. It's V8, I think. I think it's V8. So, um, yeah, that's quite funny. Soybeans? Can you? Oh, no, you could probably make um, oil with that. Uh, anything else? Nope. And let's put Silk Touch away. I mean, I know when you die, you keep your stuff, but, you know. It's still kind of like, I'm still thinking I need... You know, I need to put stuff away. Okay, let's go down to the ocean floor and let's see what we can find. Is it still night time? I don't think it is. Let's have a look. Nope. All right, let's go down to the ocean floor. And let's see. Now that's up. That's down. Okay, what can we find? Is this sand? This is sand. Okay, let's take as much as we can. And then if we use our um our pickaxe, it should just bring everything towards us. But it's one of those things again, and that is an island. Okay. Where are we? Let's go up a second. Hmm, there was an island over there. Okay, as long as I keep an eye on my surroundings, I should be okay. What's that? Crystal sand. And that needs a pickaxe. And we have um, gravel as well. There's a pity um, uh, vein miner isn't in this. Vein miner would come in very handy. Right, keep an eye on... How much sand we have? 40. That's only 10 blocks though. We need more sand. Okay, we need to haul 
we need to haul before we die again. Where's the stream? Yeah. Obviously, I live for the throw. I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> that is the only way that I could describe it because, yeah. Well, I can always put down sandstone and then take out as needed. Okay, let's put you in here. Let's put all this stuff away. How much sand do I have anyway? Is that going? No, it's not going to work because that's on the outside, <laughs> not on the inside, which is a shame. Um, I don't know. How much sand do I have? Oh, I have a stack. Okay, so maybe I can. Uh, can I make a chisel? I can make one out of iron. Okay. Um, I need space. And I need a stick. Uh, I think you get an achievement for making the chisel as well. No, you don't. I thought you did. No. Or am I... No, again I'm confusing it with... Um... Um... Edingmatica. Yeah. You don't. Alright. Uh, sandstone. Can you not chisel sandstone? Well, that's a waste. Or well, maybe it's just the eye chisel you can do that with then. Do I need the stone cutter? Hold on. Uh, chisel. Chisel mod. Alright, if I put at chisel. And then. Oh, Bloomingdale's. Chisel, spelling, uh, da, 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 da. auto chisel, but does that need, I bet you that needs um, power, but that's something to look into, that looks interesting, um, sandstone. Oh, you don't use the chisel, you use um, the engineer's hammer. That's quite interesting. That is very interesting. Alright, where did we put... I don't know where I put it. See, that's what happens when you tidy up everything and then you can't find anything. I am being blind, aren't I? Not in any of these. These two are food. Oh, there it is. See, I told you I was being blind. So does that mean I have to go through it each time? Oh, all right, so that's what, big tile, sandstone, big tile, sandstone, 
I just saw it. It's not telling me how to get it. It must, it must only be with the diamond chisel. It has to be only with the diamond chisel. Okay. That's interesting. Yay, I got it right. And of course now I have to get back down. I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> I did not think this through. Okay. Ouch. Alright, let's let's make let's make some um how many sticks do we have? Twenty five. No, I want sixteen. I want a stack of planks. Right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's put some of this stuff away. Um Where's my dirt gone? Alright, 24 should be more than enough. Okay. Right, so we're up here. Yeah, definitely going to put... Yeah, I'll put the plants up here. We'll do create downstairs. And this is much nicer anyway. And I think probably what I'll do as well off camera is um is I will just put ladders on all sides. Uh oh, it would help if I actually got on the cat on the thing. Yeah. So that it doesn't matter which side I climb up, I will get there. All right. Uh. Yes, I think next episode, what I'll do is that I will, and also if I've got the plants up there, then Devaria and Devaria and Devaria Jr. are not going to go and get themselves um, suffocated in trees, because there won't be any trees down here. So that's what I'm going to do between episodes. I'm going to take all the plants, put them upstairs, and then in the next episode we'll set up, we'll have fun with the, um, the water mill. And I'll set that up upstairs. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hold on, hold on. Bye-bye.